What is self-discharge? Self-discharge of an electrical cell is the loss of charge over time while the cell is not connected to any load. In other words, cells will gradually discharge even if they are not connected to anything. And when cells are assembled into multiple cell battery packs, differing rates of self-discharge leads to cell imbalances within the battery. Compared to other types of rechargeable cell chemistries, lithium-ion cells have relatively low self-discharge. But since lithium-ion is such a popular and important cell chemistry, there is significant interest in understanding and controlling lithium-ion cell self-discharge. On their own, lithium-ion cells may typically lose about one-half to one percent of their charge per month. Some amount of self-discharge is a normal attribute, resulting from chemical reactions taking place within the cell. However, additional, undesired self-discharge can result from other factors related to cell design and manufacturing processes. These include leakage current paths within the cell, particulate contaminants and dendrite growths can produce internal micro-shorts, creating such leakage current paths. Other factors include electrolyte decomposition, electrode decomposition, film growth on electrodes. These are not normal attributes, and they can lead to decreased cell capacity and lifetime, and even failure of the cell. Self-discharge in lithium-ion cells can be electrically modeled using a simple cell model, as shown in this illustration. C effective is the effective capacitance of the cell, storing the cell's charge. This effective capacitance is typically hundreds or thousands of farads. R sub S is the internal or ohmic series resistance of the cell. This resistance is typically a few milliohms. R sub S causes the cell voltage to drop as you pull more current from the cell, since the cell voltage is equal to the cell's open circuit voltage minus the product of the load current and the series resistance. V cell equals the cell's open circuit voltage minus the load current times R sub S. The self-discharge can be modeled as a parallel resistance, R sub S D, through which the self-discharge current flows. This self-discharge resistance is typically in the range of tens or hundreds of kiloohms. When nothing is connected to the cell, an open circuit condition, C effective discharges through the high value R sub S D, generating a current, I sub D, that can range between a few microamps to a few hundred microamps, the self-discharge current. Over weeks or months, this self-discharge path depletes the stored energy in C effective, thus causing the cell voltage to drop by a readily measurable or observable amount. Because of the impact that excessive self-discharge has on cell capacity and lifetime, being able to accurately and quickly measure self-discharge is important to help understand and control possible causes of high self-discharge during the design of the cell, as well as to screen out any cells exhibiting abnormally high self-discharge as early as possible in the manufacturing process. And that's what we will discuss in our next video in this series. Thank you for joining us today. For more information on self-discharge, visit www.keysight.com slash find slash self-discharge.